Hey Brick Maniacs, we have a Designers Studio episode. Uh, today here is Andreas, and he's going to go over his latest kit. Yes, this is a World War Brick special, because uh, we just had a great event, World War Brick 2022, and we want to go with a World War Brick special unique kit and minifigure. And minifigure. They do not come together. Uh, they are probably sold out right now, I assume. Uh, so this is the Growler, M1160. 61 or 63. There are a couple different variants. Uh, one that is that is just removed the back seat here, and that also will tow like a gun that we have done before as a kit. But this is all new, new design, updated. Um, so this is a commonly a marine vehicle. They are used to be folded down, like you can just fold down the windscreen and the bars here and put it in the helicopter and go overseas, use it for recon and scouting and they can also be used in combat burn, but they are not armored. They are just lightweight, uh, easy to bring around. Um, features, you can fit five or six guys in here. Wow. Um, these seats on the back, you would imagine they would be sitting forward, but actually in real life, these guys go backwards. That is the nausea seat right there. Yeah. Right? You just get, oh man. Yeah, these guys go backwards, or you can put a guy on the turret here, M2HB, uh, canvas top, a lot of printing here by Slam, mm -hmm. and you also get a crate here that the guy stands on when he's... Uh, Fancy crate. Fancy crate. That is a decked out crate. Oh yeah, that's a C4 crate. Something's in there. Oh, there let might, me guess. Might be a couple C4s C4. in here. Oh yeah. Slap those on to the. Oh yeah, you put that in the front. I've seen yeah. this battlefield. You drive it into the enemy base. I, oh yeah. yeah. That's exactly what you do. Yeah, bit of Easter egg there. Leave the studs exposed on the top. Just slap a couple of C4s in there. Drive them into your uh, enemies. <laughs> 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 so you you're playing so much video games, man. That's oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not the only one that did that. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. This is an made old it, one. It made it into the kit. Oh yeah. So we can talk about the figures. I, before yeah yeah before going into the figures, I was just I just want to say how cool this the vehicle is 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 a, it's a sweet little vehicle. How like it just packs down and oh, yeah. uh, it kind of reminded me a little bit of a like just like a World War II jeep and just how basic and utilitary. Like utility first minded, this thing is so. Oh, yeah. Um, this kind of kit, this came together as cool with this canvas cover and gun on top. It's a, it's a sweet vehicle. It's like yeah. an apocalypse vehicle for sure, right? Oh, yeah. Very cool. Uh, mini figures with that Marine Force Recon. Didn't come with it. Did not, no, not with it, sorry. Standalone. Yeah. But this would be driving this. Yes. And so hopefully, so I came up with a bunch of new art for this mini figure. So hopefully you'll start to see that, um, or you will start to see that trickle down into other mini figures in future releases. Um, one of the more notable uh, parts of this minifigure would be this, um, the war belt or battle belt. Uh, that's a tough, uh, the minifigure hip torso transition is especially difficult um, because you're also dealing with like, the legs, the, the top of the legs are right there. It's a, it's a compact area um, where there's lots of, of detail in real life. Like, you know, you got shirts ending and, and just the like, belt lines. I'm trying to make it uh, as playable as possible. I, I tend to try, I try to make it as playable as possible. So if you remove a torso, it doesn't cut stuff in half. This is kind of the exact opposite of that. Um, I, I figured, that, you know, let's just, let's give it a shot. I think it turned out nice still. Um, and, um, but that, that belt does get cut right in half. But I'm, I'm figuring you're probably not going to mix and match this guy too much. This is a, this is a pretty, I don't know. He's, I hope he's a cool minifigure. Oh, yeah, so great. maybe you're not doing as much mix and matching with this guy, but yeah. we do have a battle belt that holds that pistol holster on the side, holding that M45A1, and that's a um, a very it's a specific pistol to the Marines. It's got a, a, an interesting um, a pistol grip onto it as well. I think they're starting to f replace it with diff with like a different pistol, um, and but you still are seeing them uh, quite a bit uh, used. To this day. Um, moving around, you have a plate carrier. This is a um, JPC plate carrier, a really um, minimal plate carrier with just kind of the basics, but they're decking this stuff out with um, quite a bit of gear, even sometimes often more gear than what you're seeing here. Um, but yeah, so what do we got? We have the uh, magazines on the front. We have some radio equipment there on the front as well. 
Uh, on the back we have a tourniquet and little med kit. What else do we have? We have this brand new um, Perfect Caliber That's so good. M4. Probably my favorite Perfect Caliber. Yeah, with that the target designator, the, the peck on the front, and um, it's a little laser target designator, so when you got your night vision oh, yeah. goggles on, you can see that. Um, I think, yeah, Slam did a good job with this Perfect Caliber, all the different uh, colors of the hardware. You have, let's see if there's different colors here. You have Coyote, you have Flat Dark Earth, you have, oh, there is no um, S-H-I-F-T, uh, brown, when shit hits the fan brown. Can we say that? I don't know if we can say that. Um, there is, that's on the other one. Okay, there's a few more guns coming out. Um, what else? Balaclava. 360. Dark gray. Dark gray. We have the fast helmet, and I opted to go with no printing on this helmet. Um, I had some requests for just a plain helmet because I know there are some customizers out there that like oh, painting yeah. up their own helmets, so this would be a great opportunity. That's so cool. Yes, so. Um, Put a Sharpie. Draw your initials. With a Sharpie? <laughs> like a cool S? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you would draw on? Yeah, that's what you would draw on there. <laughs> exactly. Balaclava head with that little, um, with the chin strap there and goggles. Yeah, anything else? I think I got it all. C4. Yeah, show off that printing, that's so good. The C4 is so sweet. Yeah. C4. So he would like run up, special, put one there. Special demolition. Then he'd equip another one and he'd also put that there. Then he'd yeah. get in. Yeah, put all of your crew in here. Then you'd go drive into an enemy base and drive jump into out. A tank. Yeah. Drive into a tank. Oh, yeah. Can I jump out, though? Yeah. And you can get your Russian tanks or enemy tanks at Perfect. Quickmania. Perfect. Yeah. It's the perfect combo. <laughs> All right. With that, that is the <laughs> Designer's Studio episode. Thank you for joining me, Andreas. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And ding, ding that bell. Ding the bell. Ding and that dong. Like, comment, and subscribe yeah. twice. Yeah. That's the episode. Thanks for watching.